Al Qaeda is thumbing their nose at us with this video. Two of these guys spent time at the U.S. detention center at Guantanamo and are now out and back at work. One of them, this guy, former prisoner 372, is probably the best example of why so many worry about what happens to the prisoners at Gitmo. His name is Abu Saifan Azdi Saheed Shahiri. This deadly attack on the U.S. embassy in Yemen occurred a year after he was released. The U.S. is certain he was the mastermind. There is a paper trail detailing his release from Guantanamo. The Gitmo gates opened for him because he claimed he was a Muslim, not a terrorist, and that he wanted to return to Saudi to work with his family in their furniture business. He was freed in November 2007. Once he got here to Saudi Arabia, the Interior Ministry put him in what's called a jihadi rehabilitation program. He would have attended classes with other jihadis, been lectured by government imams telling him it's wrong to kill, been screened by government psychologists to make sure he was safe for release. I know because I met a jihadi at the terror re-education program. He tried to blow himself up and kill Americans in Iraq. He failed, was patched up, medevaced home to Saudi Arabia. At the time, I wanted to know how he and the thousand others like him who've been through the program could be trusted to change. The answer from the government psychologist. We make sure that he understands the dialogue. We make sure that he's responding, not just lying. So it's not an easy job. But prisoner number 372, Saeed Shahiri, apparently was lying. Soon after he finished his rehab here, he slipped into neighboring Yemen. And then he soon became al-Qaeda's deputy general in Yemen. Remember that after years in Guantanamo. Nick Robertson, CNN, Riyadh, Saudi Arabia.